Well, we're slowly drying out after that soggy weather on Sunday. Looking at our radar and satellite showing still quite a bit of cloud cover out there. We're going to try to start to see a few peaks of sun later on. But you can see that system that brought us the rain yesterday way up there in the parts of uh, Nova Scotia now moving its way out of the United States. As we look off to the west here, still pretty quiet for now. We noticed the wind starting to come out of the south here. There is a storm system starting to take shape there in parts of North Dakota. And that is the energy that's going to start rolling its way in across the central United States and set to bring us some weather changes as we move forward here the next few days. You can see locally the clouds are still with us. There is some sunshine around Fort Wayne to our west. So with time, I think from west to east, we'll try to bring in a few peaks of sun, but not overly optimistic. We'll see much of that. I think mainly cloudy skies to roll today. But light winds, so that makes these temperatures in the low 40s not feel too bad. 41 Lima, 39 in Bell Fountain, temperature at 42 in Finley. So again, temperatures are going to hold fairly steady as we go throughout really the next 12 hours uh, as we continue to hold on to mo mostly cloudy skies and m make our way through tomorrow. We're going to be watching our next weather maker starting to take shape to the west of us. This is Tuesday in the evening hours. We start to see some showers and thunderstorms, parts of the deep south where we see some of these supercells, parts of Mississippi and Alabama likely going to contain some tornadoes and some very strong winds with those. Now, the good news is we're not expecting any of that severe weather here, but we're looking at some rain and some very strong winds, not severe levels, but enough that it could knock down some, obviously, some tree branches and any loose items in your yard. Just keep in mind a windy period coming tomorrow afternoon, and that will go through the day Wednesday with this weather system moving its way through tomorrow night. It's going to give us some rain across the area, and then that will clear out Wednesday with much colder weather in its wake. So here's a closer look at our weather here. You can see a few breaks in the clouds later this afternoon, especially north and west. Making our way through tonight, we'll actually see our low temperature occur this evening in the upper 30s, and then we'll start to rise back in the 40s by early tomorrow. As we make our way through today, Tuesday, it stays dry. So any plans through the daytime tomorrow, it's dry with a little bit of sunshine filtering through the clouds and noticeably warmer. Those winds are out of the south tomorrow, so those numbers will surge well up into the middle 50s and then possibly close to 60 by early Wednesday morning. These are showers and possibly a couple non-severe rumbles of thunder. By sunrise on Wednesday, everything's starting to pull away, but the temperatures, they are set to really crash throughout today Wednesday. We'll see some sunshine by Wednesday afternoon, but look at the temperatures down close to freezing, and wind chills will be down possibly into the upper teens by late Wednesday afternoon. So it's going to be quite a wild ride here from Tuesday to Wednesday. Again, we are tracking those showers tomorrow night, moving out Wednesday, but chilly weather in its wake through Thursday. But then we see another surge in temperatures Friday, 48, and back in the 50s briefly on Saturday. A little bit wow. of everything there, right? Yeah, the birthday boy gave us a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, a lot of wind, too. Yeah, yeah. exactly.